Okay, we have a uh, Ponovo PW636i-F uh, with uh, analog and digital modules. We have an uh, uh, analog current output, voltage output and auxiliary DC output by new inputs here. And we have the uh, digital testing, uh, for, for digital testing we have uh, fiber optics here. And now we, are, we have uh, this uh, differential, transformer differential uh, protection digital relay. For to testing the, the digital transformer re relay, we have a goose publish and a high voltage side, middle voltage side and low voltage sides. So we need four fiber optics. If you, uh, it's according to your condition, if you're using uh, high voltage and low voltage, that means you have, you, you'll just need three fiber optics. First, goes publish. We'll go to port one here. And second, high voltage site will be connected to port two. For middle voltage side here, connect to port 3 and last low voltage side connect to port 4. Okay, that's it. Double click power test and open quick test module. Click IEC to select the SCL file and choose CID files and click OK. Select the relay that we're using and select GOOS input, SMV inputs, and GOOS outputs and su subscribe it. Click OK. Mapping the goose messages, including goose publish, goose subscription, and SMV. In group one, uh, G G one, we map the high voltage side, and group two, G two, we map the low voltage side. Here, we set the system settings. Click OK. And here we're using quick test advanced module to confirm the signals and just see the values in the relay screens. Here we can see high voltage sides and low voltage sides measured value. And to see the goose response, we can simulate some faults manually. I click lock and it's tripped. So goose response is correct. Now we use template to check this differential relay, go to test manager and click the template. Here we use uh, PCS978, open the template. You may edit the settings and parameters according to your relay. After changing the settings, the curve will be changed with your settings automatically. Click run, the test is running. Point one and two are used to check pickup values.
point 3 and 4 are used to check slope 1. Point 3 get trip value only. Slope 1 value will get after point 4. Point 4 get trip value and calculated the slope value with point 3. Now check the slope 2 with uh, point 5 and 6. And at point 0.7 we check the high set value for instant trip. And the second the second harmonic block will be checked by point 0.8. If really with other times harmonic, we can check it too. And point 0.9 and 10 for check trip time. Here all are at trip area and if you want you may set one trip and another one is not trip or you may add many trip points around the curve. After test all the points successfully we can edit the report information here. And here to choose which parts uh, will be shown in the report and click OK to confirm. Go to report view to check the report. It includes all information such as fault type, trip time, assessment and graph. Next, click Word Report to save the report in Word file. And all are same as our system reports.